Hey, what's up, Ice Guys? Uh, got a quick little video here on how I'm going to be doing the uh, Leered Meter Shower. Uh, it's going to be on the 21st of uh, April, and uh, or the week of the 21st. You can probably see them before and after uh, the meteor shower and the main, the peak, which is on the 21st. Um, it's going to be happening, uh, so here's north, and if you look towards the northeast, the uh, Lyrid uh, constellation should be rising probably around 10 o'clock or so and heading um, as throughout the night it'll move up to the northeast and around and uh, you'll pretty much be able to see the whole night on the 21st hopefully uh, we'll have a pretty decent shower and uh, through the morning of the 22nd and then again on the 22nd the night of the 22nd through the um, morning of the 23rd all right, uh, just want to quickly go through my setup. I've got a D7000 Nikon on here. I've got the Tamron SP24, um, 1024, and uh, f3.5 is the um, max f-stop on this. And um, I also have a Velo um, Shutter Boss on here, and I'll kind of quickly go through this with you. On the settings, um, I've got a 50 second um, exposure, and it's every 51 seconds it takes a picture, and I have it unlimited. So I'm just going to let it run throughout the night, all the way through the morning. I also have it hooked up to power, so I don't have to worry about switching the battery out like I did last time with the quadrants. And um, hopefully the power won't go out. I guess I could set up a battery on that as well. But I don't think it will. I've got pretty decent power up here. Um, okay, so quickly through the settings. Um, on the image quality, let's see here, image quality. I took it off the RAW. I know a lot of people have said that they oops, think that I should be doing RAW. But um, I don't know. I, I'm still not convinced. They're pretty big files, and I'm not um, too happy trying to convert everything. Uh, okay, so I've got... Um, large JPEG file format with the fine and I can't remember the actual image size I'll post it down below on here um, but real quick um, so I've got the setting to bulb and I've got my ISO set to 3200 and I've got the lens zoomed all the way out to the 10 and I've got my focus um, all the way over to infinity and I'm going to be post, you know, sitting out here in this yard with it and having it kind of up, up in the sky. So it's kind of getting a big wide range of, of the uh, sky, hopefully the whole radiant. And um, now in my last video, I set up a towel on that if it was cold to kind of keep it, you know, um, keep the moisture off, off the camera. And I also came up with another idea with a friend of mine. She does some cool thing, pretty cool things with snowflakes. And she, we were talking about how we keep the lens warm without it fogging over. We came up with this cool idea to take um, the bandage, that, you know, when you go get your blood drawn, and they got that cool little kind of wax bandage thing that you wrap around. And we thought, wow, we take these hotties and put them on the lens, upper and bottom, and let it um, keep the lens warm. So if you're trying to think of a way to to stop the moisture from growing on, going on the lens and on the camera, that might be uh, an option. It's, I'm going to have to wait and see what the weather's like. All right, um, head over to our Facebook page, Ice Guys. We've got a lot of cool people there that are posting things and posting images of uh, the things they're doing, observing. And uh, if this video helped you out, like it and subscribe. Have a good day.